the, <laughs> the Monty Python skit. I feel like King Arthur. Be quiet! I order you to be quiet! That's not, that's not an English accent at all. Let's not do that. I order you to be quiet! That's bad. I couldn't do an English accent if my life depended on it. Maybe I could in a previous life, but... <sighs> Monty Python and Be Quiet Cases. What is wrong with my brain? Clearly, something. So, funny story. That whole using your powers for good or evil. I picked this up at Micro Center. And then, I picked up some other stuff at Micro Center. But one of the things that I reached out to Micro Center made me email Be Quiet. And when I emailed Be Quiet, they said, oh yes, yes, that sounds good. Would you like some parts for a build? And I said, okay, yes, I would like to borrow some parts for a build. I was planning to build a system in the Dark Base Pro 900, the original one, because I got a pretty good deal. But, that conversation turned into a conversation about the Dark Rock Pro TR4. A 250 watt tower cooler for Threadripper, you say? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, don't you have to have a, an all-in-one liquid cooler, especially if you're gonna do the 500 watt overclock? Well, yeah, probably if you're gonna dump 500 watt. I mean, it's 250 watt TDP, that's what it says here. But, the 2990, will it thermal? Will anything else weird happen as a result of using this. I mean, there's a lot to be said from using a tower cooler. I mean, a 360 millimeter radiator will give you really good cooling, but you know, will it break down over time? This is solid state. It's a fan. You dust it and you're good to go. There are a lot of people in our audience that just do not like all-in-one coolers. I myself have had pretty good luck with all-in-one coolers. I've had two or three die over the last 10 years, give or take, but yeah. So, Let's see what we're working with. Um, this is a, a sort of a, an experiment for me for Threadripper, but you know, as you can see, you've got plenty of room around it and it's gonna have plenty of airflow around the CPU socket. Overall, I'm liking how this build has come together. I've got the uh, Straight Power 11 1000 watt power supply in here. I'm probably gonna add the NVIDIA Tesla V100 to this build, which is gonna produce uh, quite a bit of heat and I've got a 3d printed adapter for the fan so I can get some forced air circulation over that graphics card of course the RTX 2070 from MSI I mean look at this thing this thing is beastly this is the twin frozer 7 you know it's just oh it's a big boy card now for the memory on this I'm using the a data Gamex d30 Gamex 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 d30 this is 32 gigabytes of DDR4 3200. It is 16, 18, 18, 36 timings, but it is command rate of one. So I think that's gonna work pretty well for Threadripper, but we'll do some burn-in testing and find out. For our storage, we're using the Adata SX8200 Pro. That's the one that's pretty much as fast as Samsung. I reviewed that separately. You should check that out. Now, what do you get with the Rev2 Be Quiet case? There's a lot of improvements, a lot of little quality of life improvements. First, it's USB-C, USB, USB 3.0, all the way across the front panel. You get a port specifically for charging. You also have the inductive charging panel it's still on the top of the case. That was one of the things that was real attractive about the, uh, the last version of this case, the one that I bought. So, it's nice. If you're not familiar with the Darkbase 900 overall, it's one of the most configurable full tower cases. I mean, there are a lot of disadvantages of building in a case this tall or this big and massive, and especially by the time you weigh down with all the stuff that you're gonna put in it. Shipping is difficult, land parties are difficult, but if you never move your machine, it's a pretty behemoth case with a lot of flexibility, a lot more flexibility than you normally would get in a tower case like this. Also in the case, you get Be Quiet Silent Wings fans. These fans are actually premium fans. I've been very satisfied with the ones that I've bought in the past. Now, tempered glass, you have a tempered glass side panel. So if you're into tempered glass, tempered glass. This particular one also comes with LED strips and other stuff. I'm not sure if every single version of the Dark Base Pro 900 comes with LED strips, but the one that I got on clearance, the other one, um, 
Also came with LED strips. Again, some quality of life things that Be Quiet has done. This is a cover for your power supply, but the power supply is actually recessed. You know, you see this trickery on small form factor cases where they put the power supply in an odd place and then give you this cable that routes somewhere else. Well, Be Quiet does it too, but it's to move the power supply more inside the case. And the reason for that is to make it even quieter. So the power supply being a little bit more inside the case mean that you're less likely to hear fan noise. So in addition to having room in the top and the front for radiators, although there's a little bit of a trade-off with radiators in the top that I'll talk about in a second, you also get this cutout on the back that you could use for a dual uh, 140 or 280 millimeter radiator. So this is a nice touch because it gives you the flexibility of having intake on the front where you get dust filters and you can have an exhaust on the side here and this can be your your CPU so that your CPU heat is going directly to the outside. So you get a nice intake from the front, CPU exhaust direct to the side, but some of the fresh air from the front would go to the rest of the system. That's a pretty cool design, pun intended. It can also be a little tricky to mount a 360 millimeter radiator in the top. Like do you put the fans in the top and then the radiator in the case part of it? Then you may have case clearance issues depending on what motherboard you're using, especially with the X399 mag, you could put the radiator in the front, but on other cases where I've tried to put a 360 millimeter radiator in the front, I found that it works better to use the front as an exhaust. So having that 280 millimeter mount on the side is a nice option. Now, before you even ask in terms of official motherboard support, we've got ATX, EATX, XLATX, MATX, and Mini ITX, Micro ATX, basically. So, yeah, I mean, if you put an ITX system in this case, I wanna see the pictures in the level one forum because why would you do that? Why would you put an ITX in this case? Unless you're putting like four ITX systems in this case and then and maybe in that case, okay. In that case, huh? Oh, he did it again. It's terrible puns. Oh, this channel's terrible, downvote. Another thing that you don't see every day anymore on cases, five and a quarter inch bays. So this thing has two that you can use. Now, if you're gonna mount a 360 millimeter radiator in the top, you're probably gonna lose the top one, although it's got more clearance than most cases. So you can probably get the radiator in there if you put the fans in the top, but by and large, if you're gonna put a 360 millimeter radiator in the top, don't count on using both five and a quarter inch base. You probably could make it work, but not really. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but one of the coolest things about this case is that the motherboard tray is movable. So it's just screwed in and there's preset screws that you can use for mounting a motherboard tray. Now I mentioned if you're gonna use a 360 millimeter radiator at the top, that uh, you, know, you might block a five and a quarter inch bay, but you can actually slide down this whole motherboard tray. And when you slide down the whole motherboard tray, you're giving yourself more clearance in the top. Now you do that at the cost of you know, some of the stuff here in the front and the power supply, like you might have to finagle around with where the power supply is. You can also flip the motherboard around and mount it a different way, but you've got some options. Now, one of the options is that you can completely flip your motherboard around the other way, and that'll give you up to 99 millimeters at the top of the case clearance, which is kind of a lot. So, you know, both a radiator and a fan, like you could probably wedge in a thin radiator back here, but as this is configured, you're not gonna be able to use a radiator in that side panel, um, but you might be able to if you flip everything around. Now even with Threadripper, tower coolers do have some advantages over all-in-one coolers. Namely, you're gonna have a little bit more airflow around your VRM area than you would with an all-in-one cooler, which is maybe important. It's a little less important on the Meg motherboard because it's got the overkill VRMs, but on other Threadripper motherboards, especially when you're talking about a 250 watt CPU, having that extra airflow around the uh, CPU, if you can keep it cool, uh, will mean that it'll throttle less because of VRM temperatures. It's because sometimes your bottleneck's not your CPU heat dissipation, it's your VRM dissipation. Now it is possible to install the memory that's in the slots farthest from the CPU, at least the, the dual channel, but with the cooler installed, it's not possible, at least with the XPG memory, to install it in the slots closer to the CPU. So, or at least the pair. So in this configuration, I would not have to remove the heatsink, but if I added two more DIMMs to each channel, or two more DIMMs to each side, I should say, uh, I would have a problem. I would have to take the cooler off, which means repasting.
All right, let's get the top on here and uh, see what we're working with. This is the final build in the Darkbase Pro 900 Rev 2. So far, doing testing, this machine's final destination is gonna be for Unreal development. So uh, I've got the Be Quiet parts that I bought and the Be Quiet parts that Be Quiet sent. So thanks to Be Quiet for the Be Quiet parts that were sent. We get the retail motherboard and all of the other components from Micro Center because why not? I'm Wendell, I've changed shirts yet again because these things take time and they, they run for a while. <sighs> Sorry about that. Or maybe it doesn't matter. I'm not actually trying to, I mean, I believe in production values, but I just want to show you what I'm working on and everything else is a headache. So I'll keep improving. I'm Wendell, this is level one. This was an amazing build. It's so quiet. I'll see you in the level one forums. See ya. So this system has a total of five Silent Wings fans, and you can't hear it. I mean, listen to this. You can pretty much only hear me wheezing.